What I'd like to do in this first demonstration is take you through the SAP Business One user interface. I want to show you some of the functionality that's inside the package that makes it easy to use, easy to manage, easy to learn. The best way of doing that is to look at some of the core ways that the SAP Business One starter package and the underlying application SAP Business One is designed. So the first thing we've done is we've really thought about making it easy for your people to use by delivering the functionality in what we call a cockpit. And the cockpit gives you the ability to set up the functionality that your people need according to the role that they're in. So what you're looking at here is the main SAP Business One screen. This area across here is part of what we call the desktop, or if you like, you could think of it as a canvas on which you can paint the different functionality that your people need. So what have I got here? Well, right now I've got that showing up onto a web page, and that's the web page for the SAP Business One Starter Package, which no doubt was what you utilized to get to this demonstration. But you'll see across here on the left hand side I have the menu. And there's three key areas in the menu. The first of those is what we call the cockpit. The second is where the underlying core functional modules are set up. And the third is an area called drag and relate. And I'll give you a demonstration of that. But drag and relate gives you the ability to quickly jump to information inside the system. But let's look at the cockpit first of all. So right now I have my home cockpit, and in my home cockpit, all I've decided to put is just my website. But let's say, for example, I'm in the sales team. So I've created a cockpit for the sales team. And in the sales cockpit, you can see I've actually got a dashboard which gives me my current sales analysis information. And as I'm transacting in the system, this sales analysis information is automatically updated for me. Across here, I have another area where all of my open documents are shown. So right now, this is showing me my sales quotations, deliveries, invoices, and so on. So if I go up here and I tell it to refresh, it now shows me how many of each of these documents I have. This particular piece of functionality is what we call a widget. And a widget, if you like, is a small uh, encapsulated package of functions or functionality. So this shows me my open documents. So let's say, for example, I wanna see all the open sales quotations. All I do, one click, and you'll see it opens up my open items list, which shows me, again, all of the available sales quotations. And then I'm able to just double click on any one of these column headers and sort that information by that column, either ascending or descending simply by double clicking. Now, one of the things you'll see right throughout SAP Business One is these little yellow arrows. These yellow arrows mean that there's information available underneath for you to drill down on. So let's say, for example, I've got this quotation for uh, Norm Thompson and it's worth $58,000. It's quotation number 59. So all I need to do to drill down and look at that quotation is one click and that quotation now opens up for me. And there you can see is the information about the quotation. There's my customer information for Norm Thompson. I've also down here got all the inventory information. So again, let's say I'm looking at this quotation and I want to take a look at the account for Norm Thompson. One click drills me down and I can now see that account information for Norm Thompson. All the standard information that I might want to see about the account, telephone numbers, who the contact people are that work with Norm, the addresses, the billing, shipping addresses, and you can set up multiple addresses to use, payment terms, uh, how things are being posted from an accounting perspective, and so on. And then of course, I can see right now that Norm Thompson in his account balance, he currently owes me $97,188.75. So if I want to know what makes that up, same process, one click on my golden arrow, and all I do is I go in and specify that I want to see all the transactions in the system, and I can narrow that down by using all of these different options here, 
and then I can see all of the underlying transactions that make up that balance, including any payments that are allocated against invoices. So full visibility, all delivered to you just by using that arrow that allows me to click and drill down to that underlying information. And then of course, I can go all the way back up here. So that's a little bit of an overview of how that open documents functionality in the widget works. Now down here, I've got my common functions. In SAP Business One, I can go across here in my modules and I can access the functionality in the system by accessing one of these modules. For example, I can go in here into sales and I can access a sales quotation. Now this might be a transaction that I use all the time. So in order for me to access that quickly and easily, I can just drag that across onto my common functions. The sales quotation is already there, but there's a sales report which I access on a regular basis and that might be my back order report. So to put my back order report on the common functions, all I do is click, you'll see it picks it up. I drag it across here and I release it. So now my back order is on my common functions. I'll go back to my cockpit. What do I now need to do? If I wanna access my back order report, instead of going in here into modules and then across into sales and then down, I can simply come in here and with one click, I can access the back order report specify the parameters and generate my back order report, which of course, I can now push out to a PDF document. I can print it to the screen in a print preview. I can print it to my printer, or again with one click, I can export that information out to Microsoft Excel. And then once I've got that information in Microsoft Excel, I can start doing additional analysis. I can export it out to Business Intelligence On Demand, which I'll tell you a little bit about later as we go through our demonstrations. I can basically do anything with it that I can do from an Excel spreadsheet. It makes it very, very easy for you to set up the functionality that your people need. As a matter of fact, you never have to utilize this menu if you don't want to. By simply hiding the menu, I can now focus on working here in my desktop or my canvas and just use the functionality which has been made available for me. It doesn't come much easier than that. So let's now take a look at some of the other aspects of the user interface in SAP Business One and some of the things which make it so easy to use. I'm gonna go back to the cockpit and go across here into my finance cockpit and you can see I have a different uh, dashboard that's available for me. I have a different set of common functions. I have a different set of open documents, and I also have my messages and alerts. One other thing I can do here in the cockpit is if you look up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see how I have a lookup function. So I can look up different transactions, I can look up master data, and I can look up documents. Let's say for example, I wanna look up one of my customers, and that customer is Earthshaker. So all I do is I type in as much of the customer name that I can remember, and then I press enter and you'll see it immediately takes me to that customer record for Earthshaker Corporation. So let's work with this record for a little bit. Let's say I wanna now move backwards and forwards through all my business partner records. Well, quick and easy to do that inside SAP Business One. I can use these video buttons up on the toolbar to quickly navigate backwards and forwards, run record or at a time, or I can jump to the first data record or the last data record. Now, if I look at the first data record, you'll see that this is actually a customer. If I look at the last data record, you'll see this is a vendor. And as I move through the records, one of the things that you'll notice is that I'm not changing screens at all. Here is the business partner master data as well, that is leads. So what does this mean? Well, fundamentally, any kind of customer, supplier, or a lead that you're managing with SAP Business One all gets handled through this Business Partner Master Data screen. How does that help you? Well, it makes it very, very easy. Once you've learned how to use the screen for one function, you can now use that screen and manage all those different, um, those different business partner types. You can also see all of the information that I referred to before. 
Multi-currency is available inside the system. So if you're transacting in different currencies, SAP Business One Starter Package will handle that. I can see the orders that are outstanding. Now this is a lead. So you'll notice because it's a lead, I don't have a balance and I don't have uh, any uh, credit memos or anything like that. But if I go and I look at a customer, so for example, here's Aquent Systems. Now you can see I have an account balance, I have a delivery balance, an order balance, and I also have my opportunities. What other functionality is available to me from this particular transaction? Well, one of the things you'll see in every screen in SAP Business One, you can always right click and then you're able to expose out additional functionality. For example, if this was a zero balance, I could remove the business partner. If I wanted to duplicate this to get quick and easy ways of uh, adding a business partner also at the same address or again if I was creating additional contact records for that business partner I could use that duplicate function creating special prices for that business partner I can quickly jump to that information down here you'll also see that there is a button which gives me the option to perform additional functions now we've made that nice and easy to understand by putting the words you can also and when I click I can see I can also view related service calls. I can also view related activities. I can also view related recurring transactions, transactions that are uh, happening on a regular basis that you set up, or I can create an activity. So if I view related activities in here, you can see that I don't have any activities. So what is an activity? An activity is basically something which you have either done with this customer or you need to do. So let's say I need to make a phone call. I choose phone call from the list and there's a couple of different types that I can choose. So I've got to do a phone call. What type is it? Is it a general phone call? I can quickly and easily, if I have the rights, define what kind of phone call it is. And maybe it's a customer service phone call. So I'll make that definition there, customer service, and I'll say update. So that's now a customer service phone call. What's my subject? I can predefine subjects if I want to. So I can say this is a customer service call and I'm gonna say it's an order follow-up. So there's my order follow-up and I'll say update. So now I'm recording that I've made an order follow-up phone call to Aquent Systems. I can even assign this to somebody else in the organization if it's um, to happen in the future. And now I can put in my details that, uh, that I placed a call, placed a follow-up call. I'm also then able to link it to specific content. I can put in more detail if I want to. I can link that to a specific transaction. So I can say I'm following up on a particular sales order and then I'm able to look up all the sales orders for Aquent Systems. So I was calling them about sales order 12 and then I can just say add. That's now done. So I've recorded that activity and now I can even go ahead and schedule a follow-up activity if I want. So what we've done with SAP Business One is we've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to navigate through the system, try and make things as intuitive as possible when you're utilizing the system. So you'll see that functionality as we go through the rest of the demonstrations all the way through uh, the rest of SAP Business One. One last thing that I would actually like to show you, which we've just added recently to uh, SAP Business One, is this concept of what we call a link map. Let's say, for example, you're looking at an accounts receivable invoice. And here's your accounts receivable invoice for Ada Technologies. So you've decided you're going to drill down on that accounts receivable invoice. Now you might want to know where did that transaction come from? How did that accounts receivable invoice come in? Well, you can see here in the remarks, it's based on sales quotation 90, which was then turned into a sales order number 88, which was then turned into a delivery number 88. Well, what you can see when I right click on here, I'm also able to choose link map. What the link map then does and I'm going to expand that out. It now shows me all of the related transactions in that chain. So here is my invoice and you can see it's related to that delivery and it's all related to this particular business partner. 
I can change the way that I look at that transaction. I can look at it from the perspective of how the postings occurred in the general ledger, or I can look at it from the context of all the items that were in that particular accounts receivable invoice. So I can now see all of those different dimensions of that transaction. It makes it incredibly easy for me to then look at the underlying information. If I wanna look at this particular item, all I need to do is double click on it and you can see it's drilled me down to the underlying inventory item master data. So that's the link maps, which give you a visual way of understanding how transactions have flowed through the system, how those transactions were created, and what are the relationships between those transactions. So that's a little bit of a quick look at the user interface of SAP Business One. Hopefully that's given you a good understanding of how easy the system is to work with. And in further demonstrations, I'm gonna take you through uh, additional functional areas in the product.